people it's me go chick and I'm in my kitchen and I want to talk to you about another tip for keeping food out of our landfill so this tip is called keep it fresh and so keeping it fresh means we need to know how to store our food properly so that it doesn't go bad before we're ready to eat it and so for instance if we store our food correctly it won't like potatoes, they turn green if they're not in the dark and they get like they sprout and that sprouts aren't super great to eat. And so storing potatoes in the dark helps their life last a little longer so you can eat them instead of having to probably be down here in the pyramid somewhere. And then it comes down to knowing your refrigerator. So that might seem kind of funny because you just like put food in it and take it back out again. But understanding where food should go in your fridge so it'll last as long as possible is an important thing to know. So I'm not gonna open this up right now, but freezers are great because they lock food's time in place and it can last for quite a long time if you store it properly, it doesn't get um, freezer burn and it's a really good idea to maybe date those items. And so yeah, so you can do that in your freezer. That's the coldest part, obviously. And then, from you know the freezer on down, it's kind of not quite as cold in the middle, believe it or not. And then the very bottom is pretty cool and that's usually where produce is kept, like fruits and vegetables. But in this sort of like middle part right here, it's, it's plenty cool, but it's for things that probably you need to eat sooner, like your leftovers, probably um, pre-made items, stuff like that that you probably it's not going to be in there that long and so you know you're going to eat it um, and then the shelf right before you know the produce that's where things like if you are a person that eats meat that should be kept down there it's the coldest part of your refrigerator besides the produce drawers um, that's where I keep my milk and eggs on that bottom shelf and then the coldest of the fridge is where your fruits and vegetables are and most refrigerators, especially if they're newer, have ways to adjust what's called the humidity in those drawers. And fruits and vegetables need a different amount of humidity. And so you can find out more about that on Food Heroes also. Um, and so, yeah, a couple other things to note are bacteria grows between 40 degrees and 140 degrees. So you definitely want to keep your refrigerator down at 40 degrees or lower than that to keep your food safe and fresh. And um, leaving the door open just wastes a ton of energy. So you might want to like look in there for a while, but sort of try to remember what's in there without having to look for a really long time because Every time we open the door, it wastes a lot of energy for the fridge to try to cool itself down again. And so the fridge is smart. It wants the food to stay safe. And so it's going to have to work extra hard the more we open it. And so, yeah, keeping things fresh are, is important. A couple things that are kind of weird, too, that you might not note. But if, you're, if you have fruit in your refrigerator and it's getting pretty ripe, ripe fruit actually makes other fruits and vegetables ripen faster. So if you have fresh food in your produce, you know, bins, try to go through that pretty regularly. It's like your little mini produce department right there in your refrigerator. And if you work in a produce department, they are looking through that food every day. And so if you have food, if you have a lot of fresh food, you should probably go through it so that it doesn't go to waste. And then finally, get to know the shelf lives. And so this is like, how long will this gallon of milk last past the sell-by date and those kinds of things. So finding out as much as you can about how food's labeled, how to keep it safe, and you know how long dry goods, for instance, last past a sell-by compared to yogurt. So again, gotta love our food and not waste. And this is Eco Chick signing out.